Hey, what's up, DIYers? Mike Bors with the Mike Bors channel. Thank you for watching. We're talking GE reverse osmosis systems. We are going to show you how to replace your filters and your membrane. Let's get started. All right, DIYers in the kitchen now. And on the right hand side, there is our reverse osmosis faucet. And there is the sanitation kit, our pre filter, post filter, and membrane. Anytime you are replacing those filters and membrane, I highly recommend replacing your flow restrictor as well. And the instructions, let's get right to it. Step one, remove the RL pre-filter cartridge and that will be the top one, pre-filter cartridge. Make sure your faucet is in the off position. Coming down below on the left-hand side is our storage tank for the water. On the right-hand side is our filter case. Shift this away from the wall and the top one is our pre-filter. Turn to the left and pull out that pre-filter. I should have did this first, but I have placed a towel underneath the filter case to catch any water that leaks. Back to the instructions. We are now going to open up the faucet and allow all the water to come out of the storage tank. And I don't want the water just going down the drain. That's still good RO water. We're going to end up drinking this after the project. Make a progress. You will definitely fill up a few jars if you are using mason jars, set that aside and leave the faucet in the full open position. Come back down below and we will remove our RO filter. And in our case, the RO filter is on there pretty snug. We grabbed an adjustable wrench, sized it properly, and loosened it up. From here, we can carefully remove the RO. As you can see, it is leaking a bit. I'll set that in the sink and remove the lower post filter. Post filter was very easy to remove. Set that in the sink as well. Next, as you can see, the towel gets pretty wet. I'm coming to the back side and I'm going to carefully remove that flow restrictor right there. To the flow restrictor, I've got a flathead screwdriver. I'm going to carefully insert it and push that inner red connection in until I can pull that flow restrictor right out. And these should come out in a very friendly manner. Do not use the screwdriver to demolish that red push fitting. From here, I'll do the same thing. I will push that upper gray push fitting down. And as I do that, I will simultaneously pull the red line up and out of the connection. Just like that. Back to the red fitting that the flow restrictor came out of, there is an orange insert. And in order to get that out, you carefully grab a tool, plastic. Do not break any of this. Back up top, and here's the red insert that the flow restrictor goes into. And this is the bottom portion that goes inside the unit. Here's the top portion that goes on the exterior portion that the flow restrictor feeds into and is secured to. And I use this little pick tool to carefully compress these little plastic tabs here without breaking them. And this should pop right out. Next thing we need to do is grab a very small Allen wrench. Coming down below and the center portion, you can see right there is where I've got that Allen wrench inserted. And I'm going to carefully push out that orange insert from the hole. And with just a friendly jolt or push with that Allen wrench, the insert pops right out. Back up top, old restrictor on the left-hand side, the red insert, and let's go and open the new part. New part is out, and I want to show you how tiny that little hole is. And if that gets clogged, bye-bye flow restrictor. It will not work. At this point, I am going to reassemble everything. I've got this part here, and I'm going to shift the red connection on. It will stop. And from here, I'm going to take the orange insert and insert it inside that hole. And at this point, if I took the entire red piece off, the orange insert would come with it. I'll realign that and put it back in as shown here. I'll go back down below and reinsert it into the filter case. I have now taken the parts back apart. I only put them together because I wanted to show you what they look like. And I've got the red insert and I'm going to carefully align that and pop it in the rear portion of the case. And that's in there now. I've now got the elbow portion and the orange insert. Carefully insert this and secure it. Just like that. Give it a little friendly push. You do want to properly seat that internal orange part to the hole that we popped it out of with the Allen wrench, but don't push too hard. Next, grab the red line and support the bottom portion as you push this in and secure it. Coming to the back, and as you can see, that is what it looks like.
back up top and at this point we are going to continue with the steps on doing a full bleach sanitation to our entire system and in the event that you want step-by-step -step guidance on that definitely check out the link scrolling above you may find it very helpful Now that the system is empty, it's a really good time to repressurize your tank or verify it is at the proper PSI, and in most cases 5 to 7 PSI. But we definitely recommend referencing your owner's manual. And if you want step-by-step -step guidance on how to repressurize a tank, definitely check out the links down below in the comments section as well as the description section. What I did next was remove that wet towel. I'm on my third towel now, and I grabbed some paper towel and I cleaned and dried all water inside that case. And what I'll do now is insert the filters. Post filter first. RO filter second, the lighter blue cap, and the pre-filter. Water will begin to flow and we'll go up top and turn the water off once it stops spurting and running efficiently. You can hear the water flow. To the front side and these filters should all be in the same placement as shown here. Coming back up top and I can hear the crackling with the air gap on the side. That is a good sign. We'll patiently wait for the water to start trickling out and running efficiently. At that point we'll turn the faucet to the closed position. Water is now starting to trickle out. I will go ahead and close the faucet. And from here, what we have to do since we install brand new filters and membrane is we have to purge the system. And in the event that you have any interest on how we purge the system, definitely check out the link scrolling above. You may find it very helpful. And the last couple instructions just state, put your new filters in, or in our case, we have new RO membrane and filters, and we have to follow the purging instructions. That is it, DIYers. Hopefully this helps. Do us a favor, below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We would really appreciate it. And as that system pressurizes, just look for any leaks.